we don't take out Moff Gideon, this will never, never end. end. Are you with me? Whoa! Okay, I'll pause it there. So I talked to you guys. I didn't mean it. But yeah, that's um, the man that I'm gonna finish watching this episode. Can't wait for it. It's gonna be amazing and everything. You know, I really, I really, really, I really think this is a good time. Or this is the best time to quit the Mandalorian. Like, I'm to quit while I'm ahead. You know, like I'm gonna finish the episode of Mandalorian, and then obviously, like, you know, they give me another one, two years until the net, a new show comes up. But I'm not gonna watch that because one, two years time, I'm gonna be 19, 20 years old, and at that point, I think I'm gonna be too old for this shit, honestly. And you, people argue in the comments, "Oh, you're never too old for Star Wars. It's okay." Bro, like, I have shit I want to do in life, okay? I have work I want to do, I have this I want to do, I want that I want to do. I've got this edit project, I've got that project, I've got this website, this business, that business. Like, I... How do I say this? I have so much going on in my life. And I don't want to spend that time on the virtual world anymore. Like, with video games, I was saying in my other video that I'm just going to post this audio. With video games, like... How much time have I spent on video games? Thousands and hours. Years. Even. It's 8,000 hours in a year. I've definitely spent more than 8,000 hours in video games in total. Definitely. I mean, you can't play every day, right? It's like a small section of time every single day. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, two, three hours a day. You can't play 24 hours a day. It's 8,000 hours in a year. That's 24, 24 hours. 4,000 hours we're actually sent in. To sleep and stuff. 4,000, 5,000, maybe 6,000 hours we're sent in. I, with a heavy heart, I, I have to say, like, I, I think often about how much of a time waste this is. Like, I'm actually hyped for this episode. Like, think about that. I'm hyped for an episode with characters that aren't real, with actors that don't know, that don't know me, with a story that isn't real, about laser swords and Mandalorian people, and it's just, it's all bullshit. I'm hyped about it. I'm genuinely excited about it. And I'm analyzing why I'm genuinely excited about something that isn't even tangible. And it, from what I've seen so far, it has really no real world benefits. No real world ROI. And that thought of, yeah, bro, you're wasting your time. You shouldn't be doing this. You should be doing something productive. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? It's just like your fourth hour video game. Like yesterday, I spent like three, four, five, not even like more than three hours. We're like 10 hours playing games yesterday. Remember, Mark. Every sentient hour, minute was used playing games. I could have finished my book by now, Atomic Habits. Today's my deadline, I have to read all of it. Because I want to meet my deadline so I can finish and start my other book. Because, um, motherfucker man, I, I, I a lot of books on my, my list. I need to get through. I need to be reading, be reading a book a week. It's been taking me a, um, a little under a month to read this book. It's quite annoying. It's quite an annoying thing, but. About 15 days, 2 weeks, 3 weeks to read this book. It should be. I should have read on my third book by now. So, yeah. Oh, like. Compare myself to before, like, I didn't, even, it took me, like, I don't know, three months to finish a book, and now three weeks, so that's a, you know, if you're looking back on, if you're, like, for example, going from the high up and looking down, or, like, how do I say this, you, you're looking down at your progress you've made so far and other people and how they're struggling, etc, etc, then, yeah, it's, I'm much better off than those guys, I know a bunch of guys that I've given books to, and then they're like, yeah, I'm gonna read it, yeah, I'm gonna read it, bro, I've seen how you've changed your life, I've seen how, you know, you become much more successful and you're much more happier, and, you know, you become much more in shape and everything. And I'm gonna read the book and I'm gonna copy you and then and following you. I'm gonna surpass you even. And they end up like on a 50 page like tester book. They end up like reading 10 pages and getting bored. And going back to the instant gratification, scrolling, bullshit. That's what happens with the majority of men. Or boys. I was really giving a thought like, that's gonna be me. This is instant gratification. Video games is instant gratification. I was thinking I got like roughly 20, 30, 40 gigabytes of um, video here. After I'm done, just putting it in my computer. I'm not even editing, it's putting it in my computer. I'm thinking about genuinely sending this PS4 away. With a heavy heart. I'm thinking of genuinely sending it away. I could just keep it there. You know, maybe sometimes I don't want to play some time. But I've got to think of myself. 
If I keep the PS4 right, I'm gonna play it, bro. I have the headphones, bro, and like, everything. This one's, this one's broken. Like, it doesn't work without the, um, plugging in, but I have the headphones for it. These are expensive headphones. I go for like 36 pounds, but they go for 50. But it's like a Black Friday deal. I have the, the controllers and everything. Put them right here so it's a bit more difficult to reach, but my stupid really gamer ass still ends up reaching them. I'm tired of being infatuated by Star Wars. I love Star Wars, ladies and gentlemen. But I think I think I'd be loving Star Wars. I don't think you guys possibly could understand this. I've been loving Star Wars for the last ten years of my life. I'm almost eighteen. Must be eleven years. Eleven, twelve years. I think when I was five, six, I saw Darth Vader. So it's been like twelve years. Twelve, eleven years so far. So it's been maybe twelve, thirteen years coming up when I'm eighteen. I've liked Star Wars. I watched the original trilogy on um because I wanted to buy it first, but my mom didn't allow me. I, I couldn't watch it in cinemas either, so I had to watch it online. Your horror matey. If you know how, if you know, you know. And I'm just thinking about it again, like. And I did buy a lot of merchandise after to support the, the brand. Because I, I was like, yeah, I feel bad for watching free entertainment, so. I watch it, I'll buy some stuff. I did buy some, I bought some lightsaber. I don't know where it is, I think it's storage room. I bought some lightsaber stuff and I bought a dark made it helmet. Honestly, it wasn't a black series, it was just like a little mask. I think I attached to like a bicycle helmet or something. I was up there with my Spider Man obsession at the time. I really like Spider Man. But I like Darth Vader a lot. I thought he was stupid. But I like the stupidity because it's very powerful and cool after the suit and everything. Just looking inspired. My wisdom feels like now. I guess that's because I'm becoming smarter. <laughs> I'm realizing that I don't want to do this instant gratification stuff anymore. That's why my wisdom tooth is coming out early. Yeah, my mom was telling me my wisdom tooth is coming out early. It's kind of hurting a lot now. I wish I could just get something to scrape the gum off. Just take it out. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.